Hello there, I am the Bible of soccer, not soccer. And in this video, we're gonna talk about Australia behind the ball and about how beautiful this board looks like. Okay, I remind you that I'm going here with no teleprompter, no guidelines, no master edition, recording everything from my cell phone and I speak like this, a little bit slow, so I don't lose my train of thought. Also, I remind you that uh, English is not my first language and English is not my second language. And we're going to talk about Australia in the context of the Confederation Cup Russia 2017. Okay, so we want to talk a little bit about uh, Australia and then about the players and then we want to talk about the system that they use because the most important thing about the australian team is the system that that they use okay it's a little bit simple but it has bring uh, good results to them actually that's why they're going to the confederation cup so let's start with ryan the goalkeeper okay his style of playing is pretty much he has a little bit of uh, this sense of going out to the penalty kick to participate in some situations that can be happening inside the box. Okay, but he's not the kind of goalkeeper that he's going to try to go out unless it's really, really necessary. Okay, and also he has a very good elongation, okay, to do some good saves and it's easier to score him, okay, from the bottom them through the top then they use they use a line of three defenders okay they have great great is one of the low points in this team okay B he basically plays because he has a very good sweep kind of good sweep okay and that's pretty much what he does in the team he doesn't participate too much in the attacking side but he's just there because of his defensive attributes. Then we have a Dejenek. Okay, he's a central back as well as right. He's a central back, but he plays there in the middle because they play with a line of three. He also plays as defensive midfielder or left uh, right back. Okay, he has very good uh, passing on the front okay he have a very good passing on attacking then we have a uh, Sainsbury Sainsbury also has a very good uh, sweep that's why he's playing there and he has a very good long pass okay and a very good passing to the front as well and he also uh, he also can place a left uh, back but he pretty much do this that function but he also do the defending function because they play with uh, this line of three then we go here with a uh, milligan he's a defensive midfielder and he also can play a central and he basically is in the team because he has a very good marking then we have a uh, jedinak Jedinak, I would say, is the best player of this team. Okay. He is the one in charge, usually, of kicking the penalties. Oh, sorry. And he has a very good passing in escape. This is when he is surrounding with a lot of players or with some players from the other team, from the opposite team. He has a very good escaping pass. Okay where he gives the ball to a teammate in a very safe manner his passes also are very precise and he's in charge also of the some of the free kicks and uh, he has very good sense of location okay uh, one thing that that important thing about this player is that he's always focused on the game you're not gonna see this player smiling in the whole match you're not gonna see him smiling he's always pretty focused in the game and he takes the game very serious okay then we have we have a uh, lecky which i will say 
uh, is the second best player of this team after Jedinak. He is very fast. Okay, he has very good definition, very good finishing when scoring. He can also play as a, a left back, but he can also play a central striker. Okay. Then we have a Smith here. He also can play as a left back. That's why he plays there. <clears throat> and uh, he's very fast. He's very fast. Then we have Irvine, which is a defensive midfielder, but he plays there. He does very good protection of the ball. That's one of his attributes. He protects the ball very well. And he has a 180 uh, rotation where he can come from uh, defending to attacking. He has the ability of do that, which is very hard to do in soccer, football. Okay. And he's very fast as well. Okay, his original position is there, but in this team, he's going to place there basically because of the uh, attacking attribute that I just mentioned. Then we have Troisi, but Troisi is also one of the low uh, points in this team. He is very good uh, by scoring from outside the box. Okay, and he has very good passing. But why I say he, he is one of the low points? Because sometimes he's not very good uh, technically and sometimes he just loses the ball by himself or when receiving a very long pass. Okay, and then we have Jurik. Jurik, he can score with his left or right feet. Okay, he plays with both feet so he can open spaces to this side or to this other side. He has a very good finishing as well. But the problem with this player, with Jurek, is that he plays a lot better with his club than with the national team. Okay, for some reason. Okay, now let's talk about how, what system they use to play. What are their movements? So they usually goes with a line of four, three, four and three. Okay. And they do a very long passes back and forward until they find the way. Okay. They try to go with the two centers, these two centers, because this one is there only for defensive purposes. He's not so good at making passes to the front, okay, uh, when going in attacking. But anyways, he participate in the line of three, this four and this three. That's one of the simple movements you can uh, notice when watching Australia. But then things get more complicated. He, they can do this line of three and this line of four Okay, they try to make an square. And sometimes this line of three, it goes as a line. Okay, so they're gonna do, they're gonna appear like this, but it's gonna be really hard to notice. Okay, and they're gonna do the same. They're gonna do passes back and forth until they find their way and they start uh, generating some situations and some spaces. Okay. The other thing that this team is very good by scoring from corner kicks. Most of their goals come from corner kicks or free kicks where they do uh, cross passes or from center passes in movements. Okay, but corner kicks is where they are the best. Uh, it looks like they uh, practice this a lot. And then in the defensive movement, what they usually do is like, that's why I call this video Australia behind the ball. Like oh, everybody goes behind the ball or where the ball is located to that side. And they try to do a lot of pressure in the opposite team. So 
they feel trapped. Okay, sometimes they can be solved by sending the ball to the other side, but they're gonna come here and they're gonna do the same. Okay, so it can become very hard to score to Australia. And uh, this is pretty much uh, how they play. This is everything from this video. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, uh, share it, or you can subscribe if you don't want to uh, miss my next video. But remember that this is uh, mainly a uh, Spanish speaking YouTube channel, but I have a playlist that you can look for the ENG for English playlist, and you can watch some of my videos in English. This is everything for today. And you talk to you the Bible of soccer, not soccer. Thank you very much.